Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Tai Mahon, model number FS089. It's an AM, FM, shortwave, NOAA weather alert, portable emergency lantern radio <laughs> with MP3 player. Yeah, pick this up off Amazon. There you go. Uh, prices range anywhere from like the mid-30s to low-30s on this radio. Looks eerily familiar to a certain Cato radio, and we'll talk about that. Here is the radio. It's a white with kind of like an orangish-red color. I like that. Ideal for outdoor activities. Excellent emergency solution. Siren. I got a bunch of stuff here. We'll go over everything. Cool. Got profile of the radio there. LED flashlight. Here's the back here. Emergency lamp. Cool, made in China. Figured that. Uh, there you go. Kind of goes over some things. Got some bullet points. Got some specifications. There's your frequency chart. You want to pause and look at that. We'll also show you the manual. I think it's in there too. Okay. So we'll go over everything. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. So we get a cable. Yeah. Cables are always nice. Got instruction, operation manual. And we got the radio in bubble wrap. Nice. And I think that's an empty box. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. Oops. There we go. The radio off to the side. Let's see what we got. I'm going to lower this down now because that box was fairly large. Okay, so yeah, the cable, pretty basic. Um, it is a USB micro. This is to charge the internal lithium battery. The radio has an 18650 cell, 3.7 volt, with a 2300 milliamp hour rating. And that will charge it. Okay. Here is our little operation manual. Um, there's a lot of misprints and a lot of mistranslated English. I mean, Chinese to English. <laughs> so, yeah, you can catch it right there. Um, it's, you know, to be honest with you, this is a very simple radio. You really don't need this. Um, it's just kind of neat to see uh, specifications and features at a glance. That's pretty much what this is good for. There you go. Uh, showing you the different ranges. Um, we have AM 520 to 1710, FM 87.5 to 108. We have shortwave uh, 3.2 to 8 megahertz, and shortwave 2, 9 megahertz to 18 megahertz. That's nice. Then we got the weather band channels. It uh, talks about power consumption, the battery I mentioned, and optional AA batteries, which I love. But yeah, overall, uh, it's pretty easy to figure out on your own. You don't really need this. Um, but yeah, some of the translations aren't fantastic. Um, if you just pause and look at that, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so, you know, here we go. Hand crank on Bort Batorn. So, yeah, I think they meant back because they got that right there. and The dynamo was on the back side. So, yeah, just a few little misprints and things. But, again, not really required because you have my video. So you don't need this. <laughs> so let's get to the radio. It's a bubble wrap, which I'm glad they did. It's a nice thing. Good feature. Let me set this down here. All right, so I gotta bring this back up. Let's go over dimensions of this radio. I really like the color combo. It's really cool. It's awesome. Let's move my tripod a little bit here. Get this centered. All right, up a little higher. <laughs> Trying to get it all into frame. It's kind of a tall radio. Okay, so dimensions on this radio. We have five and a half inches wide, eight inches high, and we have a depth of two and a half inches. It's the widest point right here by the flashlight. Okay, so for size comparison, I just have a few little things here. I don't have a lot on my desk at the moment. I have a deck of cards. Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can do it like no one can. That kind of gives you an idea. If you were to rubber band the deck of cards on there, you never know. It'd be smart to have a deck of cards with an emergency lantern, wouldn't you think? I think so. Definitely. Oh, let's see what else we got. CC Pocket there. CC Pocket in the house. <laughs> This goes to show you the difference in size. <laughs> this doesn't have a light. <laughs> well, actually it does on the display, but not enough to light the room. Um, so there you go. There's the time, 5.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll go through shortwave a little bit today in a.m. You'll know what time it is. There you go. Near Chicago, Illinois, USA. All right. Get that aside. Let's talk about features. A lot of cool features on this radio. Uh, so we'll start on the left-hand side. You saw that 5 LED lamp. 
Um, this is pretty cool. It's very similar to the Kato radio. Uh, you guys will probably recognize this as a Kato radio. Um, I think that they're just general. Uh, people can put their name on them. They can buy up the same designs in China and change a few things about it, and it works that way. So uh, the Kato version went up in price quite a bit. Um, so it's actually more than this radio. So this fits in in a good spot, which I'm glad. But uh, yeah, let's go back to it. So what I'm going to do is uh, tell you about this light. This light is identical to the one on the Kato, so I know a little bit about this. This puts out an average of 35 to 45 lumens and a runtime of about 25 to 30 hours on the battery and a full charge on the internal 18650 lithium battery. Not too sure on the optional AA as I've never tried it. So that's cool. Here we have a DC 5 volt out. We have a DC Five volt in. This charges the internal battery. Okay, and this is this is your accessory to charge your iPhones and and different output for your devices. Uh, here's your micro SD card slot for playing music, which we'll do. On the front here, we have a solar panel. Um, it's very sensitive. Uh, there's a little light here uh, telling me that it's charging. A uh, little red LED. You can see that there. If I cover the solar panel, it should go out. There you go. Get an idea. Okay, on the front, I'm gonna lower this back down a little bit. All right, so here you can see the band information they listed again. We already went over that. Here we have three buttons for the music player. This is a track back and seek back uh, during the track play. Here we have a pause play button, and then we have seek forward and so skip forward the next track. Here we have our tuning knob, and you can see the different ranges. Uh, we have the FM band, the NOAA band on top. And on the bottom here, we have the AM band in the middle, and we have the shortwave one starting there in the front, and the last one we have shortwave 2, and that white, which is kind of nice. Glad how they did that. It looks real easy to read. Um, it is a real simple knob and very um, easy to tune to DSP radio, so you have no trouble with that. Here we have a band select switch. We have FM, AM, shortwave 1, shortwave 2, NOAA. We have an alert mode, so when you set it to the alert mode, make sure you have it right on the right station for, like, say, mine's channel 5, so I put on channel 5. Adjust the volume to how you want it, and then when an alert comes through, if you're on that mode, it'll automatically turn the radio on, which is nice. And of course, you have the music mode all the way at the end. If you notice, it does lack Bluetooth, does not have Bluetooth function on this radio. There's a hole right here, which is empty. There's nothing behind it. I flashed a light in there. This shows the internal of the radio. That's where the microphone would go if this radio had Bluetooth. They might release a version with Bluetooth. I'm not sure. Uh, so over here, we have the volume on-off control for the radio. Here we have the switch for the light. So we got the flashlight. And then back here we have for the lantern. I'll turn my lights off so you guys can see kind of how bright that is when we play the music back. Here we have a siren, which is really loud, so cover your ears. Yeah, 90 decibel, they say. Um, and then we have the charge feature, so if you want to charge your devices, I believe this will actuate telling this will stay on, so you're in charge mode. And then you hook up your USB to your phone, and it'll start charging with that internal battery. I do like that because those high-capacity lithiums really charge the radios nice. You know, the uh, optional device is nice. Here we have a two and a quarter inch speaker behind this um, soft touch plastic. So this whole like orange section, orangish red section, is um, like a soft touch like silicone plastic. Um, so it's kind of different than the uh, Kito. The Kito is just smooth plastic. This is kind of nice. Um, I don't think it's that rubber coating that's going to get sticky on you. So bonus. Tai Ma Hun. Hun. I think I'm saying it right. Tai Ma Hun. <laughs> I want to say Hoon all the time, but I think it's Hun. So yeah, there you go. Um, there's the lantern I shows you. Now there's the active light showing it's charging with the solar panel or dynamo. And then when you turn the radio on, that stays on as an indicator the radio is on. And then down here is the light will come on for tuning. So when your radio is in tune, a tuning light will show up, which is really neat. Nice feature. All right, so we got the built-in handle, which I dig. I think that's really awesome. Um, this, this is a really go-to radio. Uh, I had a... a Top five under 50 bucks video, and uh, this would fit right in there with it because this is just my favorite type of radio. I mean, it's plenty of light source, plenty of battery, and I'm already doing final thoughts, but it's uh, it would appear on my top five for sure under 50 bucks. So, because it's similar to the Kato 340, it just doesn't have Bluetooth. I don't use Bluetooth much, so this not having it doesn't bother me at all. On the back here, we have an antenna, extends up to 13 inches, just like the Kato's, and uh, swivels uh, pretty much. That direction uh, the handle stops it from going that way but you get the idea it does have some characteristics there so you can try to tune in a station uh, here we have a dynamo let's think about this dynamo it's fairly easy to use uh, and get to it looks like they put little divots here to get to it easier I did like that little upgrade 
uh, over the other radios and it does snap in pretty tight so let me just click that in there yeah that's pretty loud um, here we have a compartment for three AA batteries one thing that I wish they would do here is figure out a different way of locking it because you know with a screw I guess they couldn't put latches in I mean, that's my thought there's no room in there for a latch but uh, yeah if you're in an emergency unit then you gotta make sure you have a tool on hand maybe you recommend one of those little key uh, tools you can have in a keychain where you can have it's like a key it looks like a key and it has a Phillips head on the end and you just use that so those little tools are nice to have on hand all the time with you so maybe something to invest in that way you could, in an emergency situation you'll have at least a small tool on hand to use for screwdrivers or Phillips you never know when you're gonna need one for this one you need a Phillips <laughs> to put three AA batteries in but it's nice that there's an optional uh, AA battery bay in there sweet so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put in a micro SD card it's this little guy right here. It, uh, it says uh, nothing about how what the capacity is. Well, I guess it goes up to 32 gigabytes. That's just a guess. This is an eight gigabyte here. If you're not sure, just go to lower capacity and you'll be fine, like eight or 16. And you don't have to worry. Now it does stick up a little bit, but I think this protects it some there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play some music on this. Do a little audio and then we'll tune the bands. So let's turn this on, go to music. Adventures of Sam Spade, Detective. Okay, so Brought I, to you by Wild Root. had a couple of music tracks there. So now, I have some uh, music, uh, classic radio shows, uh, which is nice to have when you're in an emergency situation. Be able to listen to uh, different shows and you know, relax, especially if you're in an emergency situation. It's nice to have these. I usually load up a, a micro SD card with about 10 to 20 shows that I haven't heard. So if you're in a power out situation, you can entertain yourself with that. You can also have your normal music like you heard. Um, so we're gonna turn it back on. Good grooming first. Ronnie go steep in the bitter tea of general confusion. Brood in a So seek forward. Dashiell Hammett, America's leading detective. So I'm tracking back here. C A M E L S. That's right, folks. C for comedy. For master. Will you come over here, please? Will you listen to me? What are you writing on that pad? Hey, Hammett, what are you writing on that pad? I'm just making out a list of girls I'm going to kiss next week. Here's who I got picked out. Lizzie Schwartz, 
Maggie Mugglemeyer, Tessie Tinfoil, Lana Turner. Now, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Lana Turner wouldn't kiss you. Oh, no? Oh, no. Then I'll scratch her off my list. I love you. <laughs> Some new music that I never <laughs> played. This is fun. Okay, you get the idea, right? <laughs> Let me take that out of there. But yeah, pretty cool to have that in hand. Definitely. All right. So let's go ahead and explore some of the bands here. We're going to go to the Nova band. So we can pick up here. I'm just going to use the uh, antenna by itself without the wire. And I might hook up an external wire for the shortwave just to get a little extra reception down here. So there we go. We'll see if we can pick up on the NOAA band. Turn this back on. So I am on channel. Oops. You see the pointers aren't very easy to read, but once you get an idea where you're at, we're on channel 1. Getting some pretty distant stations actually with this radio. In Elgin. The current time is 5:29 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of North Central Illinois, Northeast Illinois, and Northwest Indiana for this afternoon and tonight. Portions of the Death Plains and Kankakee Rivers will remain in flood. And now the extended outlook for the period Saturday through Thursday. Portions of the death So for alert, you would just uh, push this over one, and then you would, if alert came through, it automatically, and this light stays on too until you're in alert mode. Uh, actually, are both, yeah, both those lights stay on. Uh, so you know that you're in tune with your alert mode and it's ready to turn on. So pretty cool. So you heard that, that's pretty basic. Let's, uh, I guess, zip on over to the FM band. I don't usually do FM scans, but we'll just go really quick through it, get an idea. Now, the FM reception report, um, I'll give it to you really quick. I was able to find 48 stations, which rates this around OK to good, and selectivity was OK to good. Um, it doesn't have a lot of selectivity, but uh, what does lock in strong and moderately strong stations. So let's go ahead and show you that. Again, no wire, I'm just using the little 13-inch antenna here. Let's go ahead and FM. Now, the FM band, as you can see, is right there with the NOAA. So we're going to make sure we're all the way on the start of that. Okay. I'm just going to kind of lay this down so we can pick it up. WSFI. Why am I thinking wow. of donations right now? Balloon. <laughs> Well, Friday, December the 7th, it is always to have you along on this Pearl Harbor Day, everybody. Two thoughts. I talked to you directly from my personal computer to yours before the election, uh, paying off two women who had accused the president. Starszych nie tylko uh, historią narodzin Pana Jezusa, nie tylko wspólnym śpiewem, wspólną pasją. Speaker audio is really good, by the way. <laughs> I haven't mentioned it. It's just really nice because I think it's got this deeper cabinet, so it really has some good uh, mid-range to it. Sounds really good. I'll find myself using this as a normal radio uh, versus an emergency radio. So, yeah, it's, it's that good sound. Of course, only picking up my strongest stations down here in the basement that abused them and used them, ripped them off, and then left them out in the wind when they were no longer generating money. My advice to young artists is stay the hell away from record labels. Oh, my God. <laughs> Signing a deal doesn't mean you've made it. Quite the opposite. So... Okay, it gives you an idea on the FM band. 
Let's go ahead and turn this down. Let's go to AM. Now the AM band, let me just put this antenna down. We'll go through it pretty quick. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave the antenna. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> We're going to do shortwave since I have this. Uh, I'm going to clip a wire to this. And yeah, we're going to do shortwave. Why not? And then we'll do AM. Uh, the AM band is, is fairly decent too. But let's go ahead and go shortwave. So um, you guys got to kind of count it because you can't really tell where you're at. So FM, AM, shortwave 1. We'll start at the bottom of shortwave 1. You probably won't hear anything until we get up to the towards the top of that band. So the shortwave 1, here you go. So it's 3.2 to 8 megahertz. I'll go ahead and turn this on. This is a Texan wire, my PL380. Just lay this down. That's a Canadian time signal at 3330 megahertz. Real slow, the stepping is really fast. <laughs> I think it's him. See where the arrow's pointing. WWE. Going rather fast. New procedure in 2016 when she served as Deputy Regional Development Minister. The police are reported to be looking into suspect contracts to the tune of 38. <laughs> So with a little patience, you'll be able to pick up quite a bit um, because the coverage is really good. You got 3.2 to 8 megahertz, and then you got the upper band during the day. You got uh, the 9 megahertz to 18 megahertz, which is really nice. So if you're wanting to have a lot of coverage, you have your FM, AM, NOAA, and shortwave. So let's go ahead and go to AM, and I will disconnect my, oops, all the way over, FM, AM. Disconnect this wire, we'll retract, and this antenna has a little spot where it locks in here. Pull the antenna out a little bit. There we go. Let's turn to AM on. We'll just go through really fast, and we'll do final thoughts. So AM, we're, looks like it goes 17 here, and it starts at 520 here, so we're going to dial that back down. Now, I notice when you first turn it on there's a little bit of hiss but that goes away when you turn it up just a little bit more. Okay let's go ahead and just go through the band fairly quick. And tell you that the Mueller investigation is a witch hunt. I can't tell you that because I don't believe it. 
six years now, and I uh, love the fact that the community knows it ahead of time. Yeah. There's already a couple of boxes of toys before we even pull. They never go two backs. They never go four wide. They never yeah. go two tight ends. It's unusual. You like to give your opponent a lot of different This is 670 score. Run different it's pointing at about the, where 670 would be. Proximal. That is a much different way of doing it than every other team in the league. It's just, it's very interesting to me. And like, I'm looking forward to watching it closely. Every snap and multiple times. By the heavy hitter, an hour and 15 minutes from Thorndale into the Circle Interchange. Stevenson inbound 355 to Lakeshore Drive, an hour and seven minutes. The outbound side is 8094 westbound. That's heavy. Grant over to Kennedy, 65 southbound. Slow traffic. Path. Yeah, it, it, Bobby, it's funny you say that because I, I was watching the end of that game today and I noticed this. WGR as here. The in Hotsburg, just search here AFSI yep. Chicago and the cell phone. On to kick off the next set. Right now we've got Try to get Zoomer. Zoomer hits oh, here it is. It's for you. <laughs> A very slow go out there if you're making your way out on the Don Valley Parkway. We are still. So this is Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> for, uh, uh, this is 460 miles away. CFZM 740. Took a little bit of work back and forth, but I got it. The other night I couldn't. So cool. Our business news coordinator Andy Gertzer and our assignment editor Leon. To uh, producer Susan Blanche, and maybe you'll walk away with two tickets. Hey, we got our holiday, our Christmas party. <laughs> Optima Tax Relief. <laughs> Optima Tax Relief, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this radio is a lot of fun to tune. Um, minimal birdie tones. Um, picking up a lot of faint stations here, and distant stations. And of course, all the locals. Back in Jordan Howard, who you think could pick up one, are those things necessary? All right, thank you very much, Mike. We've always got our eyes on the markets, local business too. If you won't be near the radio to check in, you can always pull us up using the iHeartRadio app. Remember, it's free to download in your app store. It is 6:40. Law enforcement helping some of those affected by the Columbia gas explosions Guessing and fires. Have a Just little guess. bit of holiday fun. Yeah, yeah. Combination of those who have caused this explosion. For a gift for the holidays, State Police Major Pasquale Rusalio. What can we do to the alarm? This is definitely trying to better themselves for the now and at the same time work on the future. In it is a very, very difficult. From my dad, a lot of stations had never had alcohol. Uh, what a five application. A five application is actually a. At 7 o'clock, we have about 100 people that gather. Our players for the Rochester Nighthawks, Jake Withers, Graham Hasek, and... Esta es la época perfecta para que los pros consigan las herramientas correctas para terminar todo el trabajo mejor. Let your baby boy... this one. I haven't heard this in a while. I think this is CIWW, Ottawa, Ontario, 660 miles. It makes sense that they're negative 20. <laughs> okay, so you get an idea. This thing rocks. It's phenomenal on the AM. Wow, <laughs> I could keep going. We're going to actually do some band scans. We're going to do a daytime and evening band scan. We're going to really explore the shortwave better and the AM band better. You're really going to like this. Um, just a really strong performing radio. So let's do final thoughts on the Taima Hun. I'm going to make that right. Taima Hun um, FS089 AM FM shortwave NOAA weather alert portable emergency lantern radio with MP3 player. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Um, 
Is it worth the money? Yeah, this is probably one of the best values you're going to find on an emergency radio. Um, reason being is that it, it helps a family with a lot of things. I mean, you, the light is the biggest deal. I mean, the, the first thing you need in an emergency is light. Yeah, see where you're going, especially with dark and the power's out. Um, it's important. And this thing is great as a lantern. Um, really bright uh, beam here, and then you get a nice room illuminating lamp. Uh, you get a good run time on this internal battery. You have optional AAA, ba or sorry, AA batteries, three AA batteries in the back to power this unit. So just amazing. You have entertainment. So you could actually have your micro SD card in here with a bunch of cool old time radio shows or audio books or podcasts or just different things you like to listen to. Maybe short stories uh, for the kids if you have kids. Uh, something to play and keep them entertained if their tablets aren't working or they don't have them with them. You have this radio. Um, just a, a good all around radio to have on hand in emergency. The audio sounds fantastic. Um, fairly easy to tune. Uh, alert mode I like. I like the siren if you, you are unfortunately under rubble with your um, radio in like a safe room or something or a bathroom and then everything else around you collapsed. You can put the siren on so they can get located by rescuers. That's nice. So if you can have this by your side in emergency, it's good to have that feature. Uh, charging devices is nice if you need to get a call out. Uh, you get cell coverage uh, spotty and you can charge your phone. Love that. Love the fact that you do have solar power and dynamo in a pinch. I don't usually like using dynamos. They're kind of a pain. Uh, they usually just don't last too long running or spinning them around, but it's there in, when you need it. Uh, and it's great. So there you go. <laughs> it gets a recommended buy from Tidebird. Yay! <laughs> if you enjoyed the video presentation of this radio, please give me a big like. I, I do appreciate that. My subscribers are awesome. Two, if you want to know more about emergency radios and this brand, just hit subscribe at the bell icon. I have another radio coming from this company. It's awesome. Loving it. I mean, like I said, I like the Kato 340. It has a Bluetooth function, but this uh, fits a certain purpose too. Like I think it's a little less money. And if you don't need Bluetooth, then by all means, grab this one. Plus I like the color. <laughs> Uh, and of course, comment below what you think about this particular radio as a survival type radio or emergency or off the grid type radio. I think it has a place. It's really good. It's one of my favorites. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next episode. Take care and goodbye.